Mouthwatering brunch, spicy and diverse. Just a few words this city's vegan food scene is known for. Hey guys, I'm Eunice. Welcome to another episode of Rated V where I excite you about plant-based food. And today I am in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, one of the biggest vegan hotspots in North America. And I'm gonna check out a few vegan places you must try when you're visiting. Let's go. If you ever want to start any day right, brunch is always the answer. So I'm at Meat in Gastown. Meat is a chain that's known here in Vancouver. It's one of the most popular vegan restaurants. The one in Gastown is probably the most touristic because Gastown is like an old town. It's been around for years, has cobblestone streets. So it's a really cool, trendy vibe. So this is the one that people, a lot of people come to. So the ambiance here is really nice. Make sure you come kind of early because there tends to be a wait. And we're here because they have a brunch menu until 4 p.m. and they always have like a feature. So this is what we got. Okay, so I've gotten the croque madame. You guys, I don't think I've ever seen a vegan croque madame. It's very rare. So when I saw that they had this on their brunch menu today, I had to come here. They also have other dishes like chicken and waffles or like eggs benny. So I mean, there's just good comfort food that typically you can't find vegan. So I'm gonna give this a try. They even have a crispy fried egg on there. Okay, this is a big bite, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Cheers. That bread is so crispy. It's like the perfect amount of grilled bread, like crispy bread. It's super creamy with like the, the sauce that they put on top. Oh my gosh, you guys, you can see this ham cheese action. The ham looks so good. It's like, it just looks like real ham, right? And it has a good flavor too. It's not like weird vegan meat flavor. And I love that they serve it to you with super crispy potatoes with a spicy sauce. If you're looking for comfort food brunch, this is definitely a place you need to check out. Next, it was time for an epic dim sum experience. Okay, so I'm at Po Khan Vegetarian Restaurant. Really, it's all vegan. The reason I'm here is because you can get vegan dim sum, which if you know dim sum, that's like almost unheard of. It's not very common that you can get it vegan. And in Vancouver, here on Kingsway, they have an all vegan menu. So of course I went a little crazy and I got a lot of things. So what did I get? For starters, I got kanji because ugh, kanji is just like comfort food. If you've never had it, it's basically like a rice porridge. And the one we got is their healthy kanji that is flavored with imitation chicken. And it has almost like a chicken brothy taste. And then we got snow fungus mushroom dumplings, Shanghai style dumplings. This is a banana leaf wrapped sticky rice roll. We got a rice roll, which looks to have like imitation shrimp in there. We have a fried turnip roll, which is like puff pastry on top of it. it looks super flaky. So I'm actually starting with the kanji first. Let me try this. Okay, this is like comfort food basically. Like if you like rice porridge or like a broth soup with rice, this is like, it's just comfort, especially when it's fall or winter and it's starting to get cooler. This won't disappoint. I'm gonna try this snow fungus dumpling. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. If you look on the inside, it's just super filled with the mushrooms. It has a really good texture. Mm. Mm. Honestly, even without like a dipping sauce, like without a vinegar or anything, this has a lot of flavor on its own and it's moist. I actually enjoy that. Normally I like dipping dumplings in a vinegar, but I don't even need it for that. But it could be a nice touch. All right, Shanghai dumpling. Mm. The reason it's called Shanghai dumpling, I think is because of the shape. It looks almost like a Shaolong Bao. I don't know what's inside of this. They didn't say, so I guess I'll find out. It almost looks like it is imitation meat too. 
which is great. I love that they do have the imitation meats because, I mean, dim sum tends to be meat heavy, so it's kind of nice to have that nostalgic food too if you hadn't had dim sum in a while. Good flavor on this too. Mm. Okay, I have to try this because I've never had a rice bowl before, so this just looks fully loaded. This is like staple dim sum food according to some of my friends. So, can't wait to give this a try. I'm gonna see if I can pick it up with chopsticks. We'll find out. This is all about that rice roll texture, right? It's a chewiness. It's not like super like salty or anything. What gives it the flavor is like the little minced shrimp in there and the sauce that they give it to you with. Mm. All right, now this is the banana leaf wrapped sticky rice. Oh my gosh. This stood out to me. I saw people eating it and being the Latina that I am, I was like, oh my gosh, what is this thing that looks like a tamal? <laughs> so it's, Sticky rice wrapped in a banana leaf. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. So it's wild rice in here and there's veggies and like minced faux meat. Oh my gosh. Oh, it sticks to the chopsticks just like perfect. Mmm. 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 There's like corn in here. I'm gonna taste me. I love me some sticky rice. Mmm. If you've had this, I recommend. Mmm. Everything here so far is like really good. I'm enjoying this. Last but not least, the fried turnip roll. It's in this flaky dough. I mean, look at this. Can I eat all this in one bite? Let's find out. No, I'm not gonna try. <laughs> And of course, you end it all with some tea. Definitely a good dim sum spot to try if you missed dim sum and you're vegan now. Come to Vancouver. Just across the street, you will find the next stop, House of Dosas. With over 2,300 reviews, I had to indulge in one of my favorite treats. Okay, so something you have to know about Vancouver is that it has a large Indian population, which can only mean one thing really good Indian food. This place, House of Dosa, specializes in Southern Indian food. So if you haven't had Southern Indian food, you need to because you can get dishes like dosas here. And if you've never tried dosas, it's definitely something you have to try. What I've ordered is the Rava Masala Dosa, which is a neti, crispier version of a paper dosa. And the paper dosas are usually like those long, round, cylinder-looking dosas. This one is, you know, folded like in half it's huge, as you can see, so you can definitely share this with another person, or I mean, if you're starving, don't share. It, they normally serve it to you with sauces, and inside, in the middle, it's filled with potatoes and caramelized onions. The first time I ever had this was in Singapore, and I fell in love with it, and I've always been on the hunt for another Rava Masala Dosa, so let's give this a try. I'm gonna just dig in, and guys, this is meant to be eaten with your hands, so I mean, they give you utensils, but I mean, eat with your hands. The reason I love the rava so much is because it really is crispier. It's a semolina blend, so that's what gives it that nice little crispiness. The flavor of the potato is super good, especially with the dipping sauces. Mm. Definitely something I recommend for you to try. Next, it was time for a little drive outside the city for the best part, dessert. So of course, I'm ending on a sweet note. There's a place just a little bit outside of Vancouver City in Port Moody called Vashti Rose Ice Cream and it's actually right next to a gym. The gym is right behind it. So you know, if you work out, you can treat yourself with some ice cream, go back, you know, and repeat the whole cycle, you'll never feel guilty. But you can get so many different flavors of vegan ice cream here. You can ask for different scoops and then a small sample scoop on top if you just want to try something but not commit to the giant scoop. So I got an ube dulce de leche vegan, a London fog slash lavender, and the main star, chocolate raspberry on a vegan waffle cone. So, oh, you guys, 
Look at this drip action. All right, I'm gonna try the uber dulce de leche because it's just calling my name. Oh my gosh. Mm. The creaminess of this ice cream is amazing. It's coconut and cashew based, so mm. perfect combo for creamy vegan ice cream. The chocolate raspberry is like the perfect balance. Oh my gosh. Can you tell I'm like a little joyous kid right now? I'm just like. And then last, I'm gonna try the Sundance Fog and Lavender. Mmm. That's actually really good. I really like that. Normally, I'm kind of uh, about lavender because I'm like, I feel like I'm eating soap. This works really well. I really like it. It's very refreshing. Overall, this is freaking amazing. This is totally worth the drive just outside of the city. You have to come. Oh my gosh, I am in love. And then, you know, if you want more, just go work out and come back. So as you can see, Vancouver has a lot of great vegan food. I've barely made a dent. There's way more to check out here. So if you ever come visit, make sure to just eat your way through the city. My personal favorite was actually Pokong. I love that I could have vegan dim sum. It's not something you see every day. So I would say that's a personal favorite that I would recommend you have to check out. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe and tell me which restaurant you would want to go to yourself and catch you next time on Reality.